In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to install UC View uh, digital signage on a Windows platform server. <clears throat> so basically, you're going to get the download files, which would be on our, from our website, um, download to your computer, and double click it. As you're going to see is the um, Welcome to UC View uh, Server Setup Wizard. So at that point, just press Next. Now the you're going to specify where the server is going to install so you can actually change the folder to anywhere on your hard drive or uh, keep it as a default under program files uh, UC View, UC View server so you can change it here to any directory or press next, press next press the install button UC View server is going to is, is it's a very advanced application that will have database, uh, um, web server to serve the files, um, including all the support and prerequisite packages to support the UCV server. So it's going to take a while to analyze your system and actually install all the packages. At that point, the, ser the server is finished. Um, when you get this part, um, that means the server was successfully installed, and you can basically keep the checkbox here to launch the server. So let's click Finish. You need to install the service. So <clears throat> that point is very important that you install the service and um, make sure it started correctly. This is a very crucial point on uh, functionality of the server. If that process is not completed as you see here, then you will need to um, contact our support and check why it's not um, uh, finished correctly. Um, this is basically the service that will provide all the web services and uh, accessibility to the server. As you see here on the service, while it try to start and install the service, you have the IP address of the computer you, you currently install it on and you have the port, the service port that you will use. So basically port 80 is the default web-based uh, ser service. So if you open a browser and point to any IP address or a website, uh, port 80 is the default IP. If you got an error um, at that point, probably it's because this port is being taken or it is used uh, by a different application on your computer. For example, uh, Skype can hold that port or, or IIS web browser, uh, IIS web services can hold that port. So if you want to use default port 80, use that. If not, you can change that port to any other port um, if you would like to. Um, when, you, when you get the green button here and the service started, the next thing is actually uh, to open a browser and when you click on the test web interface if you got um, this that means you got that from the server so your server is up and running and you can start the process of registering the server registering the server is pulling up your uh, full information of course it's not going to be UC View, it's going to be your company name um, your address etc now username and password is really important that point that you remember it so because that's the default password for the master admin on that server um, if you forget to um, remember that, that password then you will have uh, issue logging in later on and you have to probably reinstall the entire solution again
So for example, uh, as you see here, the password is match. Make sure to agree to determine services. And this CAPTCHA will give you um, So um, by completing this form and submitting the start fee trial, whether you're using a purchase server, you have to go through this process or using a demo server. So when you get um, this, um, when, you when you have a successful registration, uh, you're gonna get this um, uh, screen, which means that email was sent to you with the activation key. So if you go to your email, make sure that you check, if you don't see it under inbox, make sure you check under um, spam or um, junk folder and look for use of your email you'll have a key that will basically paste it here and you will um, activate uh, this application and I will copy this URL I mean uh, key and I'm gonna paste it here make sure there's no spaces Submit, and the server is registered and you're ready to go. At that point, you can just log in with your uh, email that you register with and password. Very important, remember the password. And you can start um, accessing the server and configure the server uh, and enjoy the, the amazing feature we have in our digital signing software. Don't forget that the IP address you need to use from any remote computer is basically the IP address of your computer if it's internal to the network. If you share the computer outside the network on a public IP address, then you have to use port forwarding on port 80 that your IT guy will be able to manage it or know how to configure it. If you have any questions or need our help, uh, our tech support will be here to help you. Thank you. Concerning the server installation, a couple of more things that we need to know about server installation. The, beside the server install feature that uh, install a lot of files and information on your on the program files, the the system, the UCView server manager actually get installed, which is a service running under Windows. You need to make this make sure the service is actually running for the server to function. So if for any reason that service is not running or you don't get the green um, status here that is started. Uh, no functionality of the server will be available. Um, on the tray, you should see after installation this icon. So when you open it up, if you want to go to the service and check the service manager, double click that or click that, you're going to give you the service manager here. Couple of things for the server it will tell you the IP address the server is listening on, uh, the port. The same stuff, you can go and uninstall the service and reinstall the service in case you have any kind of security issue during the install. You can try reinstalling it, uninstalling, reinstalling it here. Um, the service, you can stop it and start it. So that's another thing to control. You can do it from the Windows services or you can do it from here. So uh, if you stop it, of course, all the web service functionality uh, and listening is going to stop. So no user will be able to access the server at that point. Um, and restarting the service. So uh, if you want to change the port the server is running on, so for example, our server here is running on um, port 80. So if we minimize that, and we stop the service. So we take a couple of things to just takes time to the service to start, so you to wait for it. So at that point did you see um, it's very important to see that we stop the services. That part of stopping services and starting may take uh, several minutes depending on how fast your computer is and how fast the service is started on your computer. So it's not just one server. We're talking about database services, web server, web, web server services. 
so it will take a couple of minutes but after you stop that that's the only time you can change the port so if you remember back to our um, to our server so if we refresh it now of course it's not going to be responding when a site cannot be reached um, and this is because um, we stop all the web services so if we want to change the port so if we start it of course it's going to start but if we want to change the port for for example if we instruct by the IT that we they want to run the server on port 88 instead of 80 uh, we'll change the 88 here we'll select if there's multiple network card we'll select the card that we're listening on and we'll restart the service So my services started here. So you see it took like a minute to start all the services. Now it's port 88. So if we go back to our uh, web server, uh, and I'm not gonna click on that because that will take us to 88, and we refresh that page uh, of the server, and we can remove here the wizard. Um, we see that it still cannot be reached because we changed the listening port to 88. So if we go in here and we specify port 88, we're gonna get that server um, functioning again and we're gonna log into the server so this is example of um, how you change the port so of course uh, this manager is running on the server and the users connect to it can be anywhere on uh, on the company network or anywhere in the world uh, just I wanna make sure that you pay attention to the service that it started and the port that you're listening on if you're getting Serve it not started or any kind of error, please contact our tech support so we can actually resolve it quickly. Thank you.